Michelle. Welcome back to our channel. And um, today we are doing a video just gonna be like talking. And yeah, this is a sit down video. Yeah, but still, this is a different video. Like a new, different video that we've never filmed one like this before. And so, we, yeah, because we said we wanted to do some different videos, so this is a different video. And we thought that this would be helpful. To like some of you watching who like want to know more about this or like don't really understand it or like want to make like your own money or something as you can tell by the title of this video that's what this video is about yeah and so we just thought that would be like helpful so and some of you might already do this or know about it but we just thought we would talk about it for us because people are always like asking well yeah, so we um sell stuff to make money, on like on Macari, eBay, and Poshmark, which and also there's this thing called like Facebook Marketplace where you yeah. can sell your stuff too. We sell stuff on there too. So yeah, Poshmark is mainly just for clothes, and like Macari and eBay and Facebook are like any other thing. And you you probably heard of those websites, but yeah, we um some of the stuff we sell like we get from yard sales or thrift stores. Some is like our old things, like old clothes, old toys that we don't want anymore, yeah. things like that. We thought we'd do this video because people are like always asking us like um do you like, pay do we have for jobs anything? or like or like do we have any of our own money or like do we buy stuff with our own money? stuff like that and we actually make um a good there's a there's a gnat in my face um yeah like a lot of our clothes in our hauls like we actually do buy with our own money because we make money selling stuff and that's what we use to buy them we don't make like a ton of money no. i'm gonna be like truthful we don't make like a ton of money but we do make um you know enough to get like clothes and shoes and sometimes we um use it to pay for like we Our pay for up to like half of that we go on. half of a trip before last fall we paid for like half of that road trip that we went on and we do that a lot actually right now we're saving up for another trip this fall and sometimes we pay like you know just like a couple of hundred or something like that but that is um, we can make that much if we save it and sometimes we spend it on clothes so yeah so we're just going to tell you a few different things that we have sold recently and like what we bought them for and what they sold for and what websites we sold them. And yeah, so the website that we sell the most on is probably Macari um, yeah. for us. That's where we sell like the most because like we just mainly sell like toys or all toys so and they sell good on there so. ebay will be the other one poshmark doesn't really work very well no we've us. only sold sold like just a few things on macari i don't know why like we just don't sell much on there so yeah if you want to do this it's easy just make your accounts and stuff um actually macari the bad thing about macari is like you have to wait for your money a long time like after the person gets the item yeah they that's have, the you annoying have to, like, thing ship it and they have to rate it and then you have to move it over to like a bank account so it's a while before you get your money which is e annoying ebay is not always like that but um ebay has like a lot of like fees for selling every month and they can be kind of expensive sometimes so yeah, and Macari just, like, takes the fees out right when you sell it, so, like, you don't have to pay at the end of the month, which is better to me. Yeah, so. Some of the things that we've sold recently, and we'll, and we'll be putting pictures up of all this stuff, of each item. Right, so the first thing is an American Girl doll, and this, we is, got the, this, this is the doll. We got this at the thrift store. Yeah, we found the American Girl doll at the thrift store, which does not happen very often, but I'm always looking for them either to, to sell or just to keep for like our collection. I think we paid like $2, so that was cheap, and, and we sold her for 35, 35 on the car. That's pretty good. So, yeah, um, and this was a Just Like You doll. Yeah. As you can tell by the picture. Yeah. The next thing is a group of phone cases. 
we used to have like the iPhone 6s, but then we both upgraded to the 6 plus or 6s plus whatever. And um, yeah, we so had we a bunch of old phone cases. We had like a bunch of phone cases from like the past two years. So we saw a bunch of those in a group. Like we didn't have any so use for them anymore. And we just sold these for nine. That's not very much, but it's better than them just sitting there. You might as well get a little something for it. Huh? Yeah. The next thing, um, we sold a My Little Pony. Her name was Lucky Leaf, and she's like one of the vintage Here she My is. Little Ponies. And um, from like the eighties, I think. I collect My Little Ponies too. I have like a. Like a collection of like vintage ones and I don't sell them or anything. That's like my collection. Um, I have some from like the early 2000s. Those are the ones that I used to play with when I was a kid. And then I have like some from like the 80s that I found at thrift stores. But this was one of the ones from the 80s. So Yeah, and they're worth more than the ones from the 2000s. So like if you see the ones from the 80s, they're going to sell for more than like any of the other ones. Yeah, and we found her at a thrift store in like a bag and we paid two dollars I think for the bag that she and there were some in. other ponies in there too yeah, so like we, we got made more seven. money off of that bag and then um she sold for 18 <laughs> next is um an ever after high doll castle this was ours and we just didn't use it anymore so we sold it yeah, um, we just had it sitting around. It was just getting kind of dirty and broken, so we figured we might as well sell it because we're selling a lot of our old toys now since we no longer really use them anymore. Yeah, we sold this on Facebook Marketplace, so, like, we met somebody. You have to go, like, meet somebody and, yeah. like, give it to them. We like, sold it for 20 On there, we sell, like, stuff that, like, would be hard to ship. Like, if it's a bigger like item. Like, that castle, you wouldn't have yeah, been able to so ship it. We it would have been broken. Put it on there. Is the other thing on Facebook Marketplace? Yeah. We sold some Timberland boots. We found these at a yard sale. For they were actually in the box and all. For I think like five dollars or something. And Timberland boots were like a thing, like on YouTube, everybody has them, but like I they're actually, just not my thing. Like, I don't like yeah. them. I actually don't like them. They weren't our they weren't our size yeah, like, though. These didn't fit us, but I don't know if I would have kept them if they had. I might have, but I don't love them. So yeah, we um, sold those on Facebook too for 25 Yeah. Then we sold some of our old shorts, just a couple pairs of lounge shorts. We sold on Macari. Yeah, we sold these because we had them from like last year. I think they were like too big for us now, so we sold them. Yeah. So like if you have like different clothes like in your closet, they're either too small or too big for you or just out of season, you don't think you'll wear them like next year, why not sell them and make some money off of them instead of just like sitting them there? Yeah, we sold these for ten, I think. Clothes don't sell really as well as um toys. No. We sold those on yeah, and I don't remember how much they cost originally. I think we got them on sale. Yeah. So the next thing is the last thing. Well, there's two more things. Oh, I didn't see. Sorry, I'm reading a list. It's kind of yeah, hard to read it. Here. Um, um Barbie, Barbie sets. sets. And I have a bunch of Barbie sets. So, once again, this is like old toys that we have. Yeah. We just sold two sets together. It was like a frozen yogurt stand and a pet boutique. We just put them in a group together. And we sold them on Macari for like, was it 20? 20 or 25, yeah. Yeah. And the for like selling um, is if something doesn't sell it by itself, don't give up and like take it down. Because sometimes I get disgusted. Like sometimes they sit there for like three weeks or even a month. And not try different ways to um to sell it, like combine it with something else and make like a bundle or something, and maybe somebody yeah. would buy it. Yeah, a lot of times you have to like lower the price, and we do take offers on stuff a lot of times because people always make offers. So sometimes you have to take those or like put it in a group to get it to sell. Right. So the last thing was 
another old toy of ours. A Moxie Girl ice cream car. It's something that we got for Christmas about and three it was years still ago. Like really good we never played with it really. Yeah. So we sold that on Macari too. Yeah. For like twelve, I think. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything that we had on our list. Yeah. Kelly's just not saying anything, making this kind of I'm awkward. not saying anything yeah. because in the last few videos, people keep saying, like, I interrupt Michelle, and I'm the one who talks too much, and my talking's boring, so I'm not talking. Is this what you want? We'll talk some. Yeah. But, yeah, um, I hope this This help video helped you, and to just go through, like, your stuff and see... Yeah. Because, I mean, that's what we've been doing. We have, like, a whole, um, shed, like, building thing in the yard full of, like, toys that we don't use anymore, so why not, um, sell them. The only ones that I keep are, like, some for, like, sentimental value are the ones I collect. I am a sentimental person, so sometimes it's kind of hard for me to, like, sell even stuff I don't use anymore. <laughs> yeah. Michelle always wants to sell it, but I don't. But, yeah, it's worth it because you can... Get your own money to buy things you want or need and save for trips and stuff like that. So, yeah, so if you're looking hopefully for this was helpful. a kind of easy way to make money, then you should try this. And if you have any other questions, like if you want to ask us about it, comment them. And we've been yeah. doing this for like several years, actually. Yeah, we have. Yeah. So we thought we would just tell you about it to help. So yeah, if you have any questions, comment them. And as always, if you have any um, other video suggestions, comment you would like to also. See. And, and uh, yeah, follow our social media. It's in the description box. And go to thrift stores and yard sales and find stuff to sell online. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, people are always like commenting, "Do we make our own money and stuff like that?" And that's kind of rude to, like, just ask us that, but, you know, because people say rude things on here. But, um, we used to make money off of our, um, off our YouTube videos, and it's kind of sad that we don't anymore. If you don't know about the, the thing, they changed it now. Yeah, and now they say you have to have, like, a hundred thousand views, or, like, some uh, amount of views per day to make any money so we don't meet that requirement it's so really sad that youtube did that we don't make any money anymore it makes smaller channels feel really bad it makes you want to like give up and quit which is not fair because they should be wanting to like motivate you to keep doing it and that's really upsetting we used to make some money every month and that was just give you something to look forward to it made you feel like your channel was you know, going somewhere, so it was kind of sad when they took that away. Yeah, it wasn't like the actual amount of money, it wasn't that much, it's just like the, the idea of it. Yeah, it's just me and them to do that, I don't know why they do that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sad. But yeah, I just wanted to, to talk about that. Follow our social media, it's in the description box. And go to thrift stores and yard sales and find stuff to sell online. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, we'll see you in our, our next, next video. video. Bye. Bye.